Hey everyone, this is Wobbly Wallaby. In this video, I'll give you two tricks for boosting your Rathcracy's damage. This involves using item swapping and takes advantage of Rathcracy's fast attacks to give you a big boost. I stumbled upon this while making my PvE guide and I'm currently using this right now. How does this trick work? Stay tuned to find out all the details. First, Rathcracy's Aurora Feather Star Rune is very strong, but it requires that your move speed is over 200%, which will then lead to more damage on your Blade of Order. I was lucky for mine, I have a 32.3% increase, which is significant. But getting over 200% move speed is not easy, especially if you do not have the Moonlight Flower Star card. So how will you achieve this? First, I show you I'm not wearing any move speed gear. I also show I'm not eating any move speed foods. My current move speed is 111%. 10% move speed comes from Rathcracy's Acer Monument. The extra 1% comes from unlocking the Gargoyle card. Rathcracy's weapon will also give you 20% move speed since your skill attacks give you 5% move speed for 10 seconds and it stacks up to 4 times. Let's start adding in the footgear. Dragon Slayer War Boots gives 12% move speed. The Flute Player Star card gives 15% more move speed. Most people don't have the Moonlight Flower Star card, so this is the next best alternative. Next are Gachas, which can provide move speed. I will add Norma for 5%. Cube Blower for 3%. Ocean's Attachment for 5%, Haunted Candlestick for 5%, though at max HP it does give an extra 5%, and Rock Bunny for 5%. Gatchers could potentially add 23%, even if your HP wasn't at 100%. Although this sounds great, not all these Gatchers are available to everybody, and you may also want to use other ones that don't use move speed such as using Homestead of Snowy Owl instead of Norma. If you need BCC to invest in Rathcracy, then try Smile.1. Smile.1 allows you to get discounted BCC and premiums for Ragnarok Mobile. They have been around for more than 8 years and have lots of global business partners for other games too. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks to Smile.1 for sponsoring this video. You can also get more than 2% move speed with the Shadow Equipment at a higher Shadow Progression level. With this setup, I have 188% move speed. So how would I make up the missing move speed? You could use Rascacy's skill Command of Charge, which gives you 30% move speed for 10 seconds, although it does have a 30 second cooldown. Although this could be reduced by good ruin, but this is very RNG based. You could also get Bust from a Saint, whose blessing can give you 30% move speed due to the increased agility. This is the most ideal scenario. However, if you lack the move speed gatchas, then you might not be able to hit 200% move speed even with Blessing. Next, you could also mount after each attack, but that's quite painful and you have to spam it non-stop. Next, you could also eat move speed food like the original Will Fish Steak, but you're giving up anti-death or penetration percentage food. This is good if you want to use one or two just to make up the deficit. Wouldn't it be great if you had a way to get 20% extra move speed with low effort? That would definitely lead to more flexibility in your setup. Well, here's the answer. This method takes advantage of the Blade of Order because it hits every 0.5 seconds, which means you can stack attacks very quickly. You can also have more than one Blade of Order active at once, so it'll actually happen very quickly. Now, Sword of Hogne was introduced by Thanatos, but Rathcracy can use it too. It also has a 20% move speed buff that lasts for 10 seconds. This is a weapons effect that we're going to take advantage of. In my item bar at the bottom, I have both the Rathcracy weapon and Sword of Hanne. I start attacking and I show my move speed is at 188%. One speed up shows up in my status. I switch to Sword of Hanne for 2 seconds. 
It can be even faster, but for this video, I'll make it longer so you can see the switch. Now you can see the status speed up shows up twice. I would have expected both weapons to share the same status, but it doesn't, so we can definitely exploit that. Let me quickly swap again since the effect wore off. My status now shows my move speed at 208%. This means even without blessings or command of charge, I can achieve this move speed. I love the flexibility of this item swap, and it's low effort since you only need to do it for about 2 seconds every 10 seconds or so. So if you're lacking move speed, I would definitely recommend this trick. Next, that move speed trick was nice, but can we exploit the quick attack of blade order even more? We're doing weapon swapping anyways, so let's make it worth it. This is a trick that I use on my Saitama, since the skill successive attack also charges things up very quickly. The card that we're going to use is the Griffin Star card. You're able to get the 500 raw attack very quickly due to Rascacy's very high rate of attack. Before swapping, my raw attack is at 32,931. I swapped to Sword of Hogne. My attack goes up to 34,481. Once this effect wears off, it goes back down. You also see attack up in your status, and previously when I was doing the Moose Seed one, you can also see the attack status show up as well. The damage boost depends on your deposit. I'm at 96% deposit, and my attack is at 2,982. So a boost of 500 raw attack is no joke. It is a big difference. With both of these tricks used together, you should get a big damage boost. Good luck with building your Wrath Christy, and hopefully these tips will help you out. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want more Wrath Christy videos, check out this playlist over here.